Want to take cryptocurrencies on your WooCommerce site? Well, let me show you how to integrate Cryptomos in WooCommerce. It's going to be super easy. Plus, you'll have the full advantage of the features in Cryptomos. So the first thing you need to do is obviously have an account. Second thing you're going to need is the merchant account. So let's go ahead and set one of these up in order for us to get the details that we are going to need to integrate in our WooCommerce site. To do that, we're going to create a brand new merchant account. We're going to name this test for testing purposes. Go ahead and name it with the name they're going to use for your store. Okay. Once we're good to go, let's go ahead and jump into the setup. Here we go. And we are going to jump into merchant settings and we're going to go through the process of leaving a request to confirm our store where we're going to confirm our domain and it's going to be manually approved in less than 24 hours. Now, in this case, I already have a merchant account, which is already approved. This, this one that's active. So let's go ahead and jump into this one. Let's jump into our merchant settings. In the settings, we now have a payment API key, which we're going to need to integrate and the merchant ID. So we have these two and we're good to go. So now we need the Cryptomos WordPress plugin to use on our WooCommerce site. To locate that in this section, we're going to jump into business. In business, we're going to go to API docs. Here we go. And we're going to scroll a bit down here and we're going to find modules in modules. We're going to find all the available integrations for our websites. In this case, we have WooCommerce and that's what we're going to use. So we're going to download it and we are going to upload it into our WordPress website. To do that, let's go into our WordPress site. We're going to go into plugins, select add plugin. And what we're going to do is select upload plugin, select the file from the one that you downloaded from Cryptomos, install and activate. Once you do that, that plugin will be available in your plugins settings. Now you'll be able to locate the settings for Cryptomos by clicking on configure or by going into WooCommerce, go into the settings. In settings, we're going to go into payments and in payments, we're going to find Cryptomos. So it's available right here and it's inactive. So we are going to click on manage. Here we go. And we are going to need the payment API key and the merchant UUID. Remember, we're going to grab that from our merchant account. So let's head on back here. Let's go into our merchant account. Here it is. We're going to grab this API key. Let's go ahead and bring it inside of here. Then we're going to grab the merchant ID. We're also going to add it here. We are going to enable. If you don't enable this, you won't see the option when you go to the checkout. Okay. So don't forget to enable. Then we have the method title, which is going to let your clients know the method for this. In this case, pay with Cryptomos. You can customize this if you like. The method description, go ahead and customize this too. The method image, you can go ahead and change that too. In this case, I'm not going to choose one. This is just for testing purposes. And how much commission does the client pay? So in this case, you can raise this since there's fluctuation with cryptocurrencies. So it's up to you if you want to set that to zero or hundred, you decide. Okay. The invoice lifetime, two hours and all the way up to 12 hours. So from one to 12 hours, the idea here is that it can expire if they don't go through the payment process. And that saves you in case, again, there's some fluctuations with the cryptocurrencies. Okay. And then you can set host to host if you want to enable this and go through the setup process. In this case, I don't want to set that up. I'm going to save these changes. So let's go ahead and give this a few seconds. Here we go. It is now enabled. So let's go into one of our products. Let's go to all products and we're going to do a fake checkout just to show you. Okay. So let's go into view this product. Here we go. It's a Lexar SSD card. I'm going to add it to cart. Here we go. Let's go into view cart. Okay. We are getting our total right here. Let's go ahead and go to checkout. Here we go. We got our details. We're going to set this up and then I'm going to select pay with Cryptomos. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to place the order. Here we go. This is the correct setup. If you jump into the screen, once you set everything up, this is correct. Okay. So we are now able to go through the payment process here on Cryptomos. So I can select the currency in this case. Remember, it's going to expire in two hours because that's how we set it up. We're going to select, for example, the type of currency that you want to use. And there's tons of available currencies here that you can select. I'm going to use the most popular one, which is Bitcoin. Proceed to the payment and we are good to go with the setup process. But it's super easy to set up your Cryptomos account with your WooCommerce e-commerce store. And it's just super easy to take payments from your traditional payment gateways all the way up from Cryptomos to take in cryptocurrencies. So you saw how easy that was to set up. Get started right now. Don't lose clients by not taking crypto. So that is my advice to all of you. Well, if you want to go ahead and sign up for Cryptomos, link provided in the description. And that's a wrap.